In this session, I will demonstrate some of the features that are a little bit more advanced related to PowerPoint 2016. However, it is time consuming, as you will see. So let's suppose that you have a PowerPoint very similar to this. You're using built-in blocks basically to explain a concept. So for example, in education, you have a traditional form of education, then you have hybrid learning, then you have competency-based education, and then within those then you have different methods of teaching for example synchronous or inquiry based or project based and then action based and challenge based education so the question would be how can we build something very similar to this and what's involved in designing something similar to this and how is the animation and all this stuff designed you can do it a variety of ways but it's going to take a little time to design it so i'm going to try to explain the concepts as to how this is designed or how it works. It's designed by using a bunch of methods. For example, the grouping and up ungrouping of objects, the using of shapes and the using of text boxes, and then bundling the text boxes with shapes by using the group and ungroup option, and then also adjusting the animation within these objects. To insert the objects, so let's say we start with a Lego piece and we can go here under insert and then click on online pictures and then Lego. It's going to search Bing and now at this point you can uh, navigate here and pick something that would be in the angle that you would prefer for example this one or this one or whatever the angle that you prefer here and uh, you can also use these tools here under the type for example you want something that is transparent background in that way it's not going to overlap with other images and other components there. And now notice we have one piece of the Lego here. It's coming up with the design ideas here that's for another time we have covered that as well but and you can refer to the video on design ideas or the designer mode in PowerPoint. Now the next thing that I would suggest that you do is you can click on it and right click on it again and then copy it and then right click somewhere else and then paste it. So we are basically just making a copy of the exact image that we had in the first object here. Now once we copy this we can move it to the left here. Notice they kind of will change slightly and then at this point notice that it's kind of overlapping with the first one. In this case and the concept here is is that you can actually then change this so that it goes to the back. You're moving either bring this one to the front or send this to the back. And the way you do that is by using these tools here on the top where it says format and it says send backward or bring forward. Or you can right click and choose send to back. Now notice when I chose send to back it kind of lined up perfectly here and it's one after the other. You could do the same thing. Now we can copy this image here and then go somewhere else and then choose paste. Now we can drag it and line it up here and then choose to send this back as well. Now notice they are all lined up. Copy it again and then go over here and then choose paste. And now if we wanted to kind of build it in between here, notice we just stack it on top of it and it's properly set. Then copy it one more time and then paste it again. Now we're going to move it, let's say over here, another one. And notice you can kind of stack it backwards a little bit or just leave it up a little bit. However, it makes more sense for you. So as if it's not sitting properly there, now copy it one more time and then paste it and then notice you can stack on top of the next one. So that's how that part of it works. Now the other thing that you can do is you can select either one of those objects here and double click on them and notice it's going to bring up the formatting tool here. Now under format in most cases you can go and change the color from here from the color tools. However, in this case, we'd have to go here under the picture because it's actually an image that we copied from the web and we can go and pick a different color for that specific one. So notice this bottom one, now it's in black. And then if we wanted this next one here, 
in a different color you go under color and then simply pick the orange color then over here pick something else and basically you're tweaking the color for each one of those options here so now you're customizing these to what you want now the next thing that you might want to do is is that you're building blocks for whatever the case might be so earlier I had for example um, education there or traditional education and hybrid learning click on insert and then choose a text box so you want to put a text box right on top of this area right there so you click here traditional now notice the text there it's kind of black on red it's not going to be very easy to see so we can change that to white Now notice also that the text there does not properly line up so what you might want to do is you might want to rotate it a little bit so it kind of matches the direction of our their Lego piece. And then now in this case we want to put in there the word hybrid learning. The easiest would be click on the existing text box that you created earlier, copy it, control C, and then simply paste it, control V. Notice it's going to stack it on top of the existing one and then drag, uh, drag it to the next area. In that way it's going to be exactly the same direction and the same angle. So now we can change this to hybrid. And the next option here you can uh, do that the same thing in there. Control V again, paste it and then drag it here and do competency. Competency based education and then here you could have the different uh, methods of learning so let's say we have here and whatever the point is that you're trying to make so you're just copying and pasting against these text boxes now if we go ahead and play this presentation and we have not applied any animation at this point so everything is going to be presented all in one piece so you basically need to select the text component here and the piece of the lego and then right click on them and you want to group them together then once you have grouped them together you want to add animation by clicking here on animation and then choosing the certain type of animation that you want to apply to it now it's also advisable that I would advise that you enable here the animation pane as well and then you have here the animation of those objects. So when displayed, they'll show up like this. Notice it's missing that part there. So now we want to do the uh, the grouping for the other ones as well. So uh, the best what I'd suggest is that you, you start from the top here and then you move down to the other items. Otherwise, it will change the order how they appear here. So and you can play with this option whatever works best it will depend on the design that you have and if it's not slanted like this then it will be much easier for you so I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna group those two together then I'm gonna to go to the next one here I'm gonna click on these I'm gonna group these as well then I'm gonna to go to the next one here I'm holding down the control key by the way to select the right item here when I'm selecting more than one then I'm gonna choose group then I'm gonna to go to the next thing here competency hold down the control key select the proper box for it right click choose group then I'm gonna to go to the next one here so now that we have selected them, now we want to apply animation to them. So we click here under the animation. We make sure the animation pane has been enabled by clicking right here and then choose animation. And then we want that to appear. Then we click on the next section here. Make sure you're selecting the right one. Choose add animation. Then you go to the next one, add animation. And then you choose whichever order you want so if you want to start from here you click on this choose add animation choose to have it appear then you go to the next one and then choose add animation you can have it so it floats in it flies in or whatever you want to do and then the top one 
you could have it uh, utilize a specific animation as well. Now, if we were to play this, so remember we started from one piece of Lego, we added the text, we sorted them out, we brought it forward and backward and all that type of stuff. But now if we want to play this and present it, notice how they'll come up. So you have the text here first, then you click on the mouse, it tell, you can talk about the traditional way of education, then you can have the hybrid type of education, including online education, then you have competency-based education, and then let's say the different methods for synchronous, inquiry-based education, and then you're talking about traditional or whatever it is, that feedback or whatever you, this would be. If you need to change that to say something else, you could change it to simply put, just double click on it and say, post in there for something else. And now if you replay it, it has been updated. So that is how it works by using an image, customizing it, adding text components to it, bundling them together using the group option, and then applying animation to each individual object. Now, the other method what you could utilize is, uh, in some cases, it would be, for example, pieces of a puzzle. And we'll add a new slide here, and let's say you can do exactly the same thing for that as well. So you can go to the web here, you can insert from online pictures, and then and you can do that with any other images as well. Just bring them back together, uh, find them, locate them, and all that type of thing, and then... Um, add them together or bundle them together and by grouping them. So here you can pick any of those pieces of the puzzle. You could theoretically use one of those, however you can't, unfortunately you cannot unbundle them. So you need to pick something that is a single piece and then you want to add it. And let's say this one. You want to pick a piece that actually it will kind of fit, so this end will fit into that. So pick the proper piece there, click on insert. And now once you insert that piece, you want to resize it to the size that potentially you use it for your presentation. So now here is one. Now you can right click on it, choose copy, right click again, choose paste. Now, notice we have two pieces of them, so you can take that and put it right next to each other. And then copy this, and then paste it, copy, paste it. And then this one, what you could use is you can rotate it this way, if you want, and then you can connect it with this piece over here. Then the next thing that you'd want to do is, uh, let's say this one is sticking out, you can actually crop that by clicking on crop here on the top and simply cut that piece out. Click on crop again. Now is it perfect? Probably not, but it gives the idea. Now you could go in here to each one of those pieces and you can uh, simply change the color. So double click on it, go under color, and then pick something else that you might want. Double click again. Let's say the pieces of online education. You want to have quality instruction, you have to have proper instructor training, you want to have compliance, and such. So in this case what you do is you click on insert here, you want to do a text box and you say quality. You could tweak it so that it shows a certain way and then you want to copy this. So basically you're changing the text here for each uh, component and then now you click on the text, click on the piece of the puzzle here and then right click on it and choose. And you want to go here under the picture tools and you can go under arrange and then choose to group them together. And you do the grouping basically for each one of them accordingly and I'm holding down the control key so you have to select more than one item to group them. You can go under arrange or group or right click once you have selected them and group like we did earlier. Now they are grouped together, or you can select each one of them. Let's say you want to start with this first one. Then you go here under Animations. 
add an animation, appear, and that first one it will appear. The next one you can choose a certain type of animation, fly in. The third one as well, and the fourth one. You can further customize the animation here for each one of them so they float in for a certain direction. Now if we go to present this, we have the title of the slide. Then we are presenting that the online education is, uh, should be based on quality and focus on quality, then focus on training, focus on compliance, and the focus on technology. And uh, you can keep on building this to your liking. So uh, this hopefully gives you an idea as to how to customize this further and how to add from one single object, build the concept. If you go here under insert and you go under shapes, you really could build this even further. Or let's say I want to have this as the background for this. And then you can choose to send this to the back by right clicking, sending it to the back. And then you could say that this is the platform or the online environment or whatever it may be that you're building this. And even this component, you can further customize it by either adding additional shapes and forms and such and arrows and all kinds of other objects and bundling them together. Or you could simply go and reformat this by going under the format options here and customizing it further from here. So it's uh, very powerful in how you can customize and tweak objects within the slides in your presentation to make a fancy presentation there for your audience. And of course, do not forget to use smart art as well. And that has been covered in another video in PowerPoint 2016.